So I was uh, traveling around trying to find uh, people living in these areas where where the essentially the spaceships come uh, crashing down and and documenting life of the people who make a living chasing after these rockets and uh, selling the scrap metal. So one day we were driving along in a jeep sort of looking for for a, a relatively fresh wreck that we had heard about was in the area and and um, you know as we were driving it was it was just like it it had started snowing right there was all this white stuff coming at the windscreen and and um, you know the thing is it wasn't in the middle of the summer so uh, it couldn't be snow and then it took me a few seconds to realize uh, this was thousands or millions I would say of white butterflies I'd never seen anything like it. I mean, it was a truly magical situation. Sort of, all these things come together. You had a, you had the, the, the swarm of, of, of butterflies. You had the spaceship. You had the farmers. You had, it had just been a, a sort of storm squall. Uh, so you had these stormy, uh, dark clouds in the background, and sunlight was just starting to break out. So <laughs> it was this sort of perfect storm of different elements. The thing is. You know, I look back at this contact sheet from from those days, and you know, it, it sort of boggles my mind because uh, I didn't really realize at the time that this was just truly unique and even surreal and bizarre situation. Um, this whole scene with the, the 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 rocket and the butterflies and the sky and everything, I, I took like half a roll of film, and actually of this angle that that this picture. Uh, you see here, I took like three frames. In a way, that's unthinkable for me today. Like, you know, if I'd ended up in such a situation, I think I would have at least recognized how unique it was. But I don't know, there was something about when I was there, all this seemed normal. <laughs> 